I'm Kendall Bailey. And I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is May 1st, 2018. And in this video, I'm going to get my daughter's assistance yes. to design and print a more advanced box in Tinkercad. And it will be cool. Okay, first, for those who may not know, what is Tinkercad? So at Tinkercad.com, it's a place you can actually sign up. At account, the account is free. And it's actually a company that's now owned and run by Autodesk, the same company that does Fusion 360, which is a really cool uh, uh, program you can use to design really advanced designs. But Tinkercad is a little more simple, and it's all online and free. And so you can use design 3D designs, and you can also use it to, uh, to make 3D, 3D designs and download them as STL files so that you can print them on your 3D printer. And so it's really cool. It's all web-based. All your files are saved up there. and so. Uh, we homeschool, and so at first I had, was teaching my kids Fusion 360, which I'm still continuing to do because it's a much more advanced, really cool tool, and Corbin's been learning it pretty well. Uh, but also someone brought up uh, Tinkercad to me, and it turns out this is a really cool tool too, tool too, especially if you're younger. So my daughter here is 10, and so uh, she likes this a lot. Do you like this a lot better than the Fusion 360? Yes, so? it's way easier because they already have shapes here for you. Yeah, yeah. And so it's a little simpler to work, but you can still get some interesting results done. And it's especially nice for younger people because you can actually get some successful wins. And so we already did another video, which hopefully I'll put a link up here somewhere, to where we designed and printed out some boxes. Uh, and it worked pretty well. And so I did that. On, I did a video on that, but we also did it for a homeschool class, and they printed out some cool boxes. And it was really fun. It was really fun. And I would suggest, if you haven't printed anything out, to go watch that video and do the simple box first, because it's nice to get that simple win that works before you try to do something more advanced. Um, and in this video, we're going to do something more advanced, because that's what we did. We did the simple boxes. Mm -hmm. And then the next week, we did a little more advanced box and let you guys fiddle around and make some weird designs. It was pretty weird. It was weird. But it was fun. Mm, good. So, let me see. So, let's let's stay with Tinkercad for a second. So, so far, you have your own account on Tinkercad. We're on my account right now. Yeah. But is it nice having your own account where you can save your own stuff and design your own things? Yeah, it's really easy that the first time I made a box, mm -hmm. I reused that box to make my... To make my fancy box. Oh, hmm. So all I had to do was make a funny face or my name or I don't know. It's just a funny box. Funny box? Okay. That's what I do. So with that, I'm going to get Kendall's help here because she's got more of imagination than I do. I do. Because <laughs> I'm a kid. Because you're a kid. Okay. And so we'll get going and we'll... Uh, start to make a new box and start to make more interesting stuff inside the box. So yeah. with that, let's get going. Okay, so here's a box I made last time, but let me go make a new box. So I can go up here, click on this guy, and say new design. So we'll make a new design. So we'll kind of re redo the beginning part. We'll make a simple box, and then we'll add stuff to it, right? Maybe just a box box. We're going to make a box box? Yeah. So it'll be real simple and boring? Real simple But we'll put cool boring. stuff inside of it? Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab a or box. Or on the outside, nobody knows. Or on the outside. Well, we got to be careful on the outside. Because one thing we want to do is we want to design it in such a way that it's going to print well and simply. So if you start making crazy shapes at weird angles and all kinds of things, it's not going to print really well. So we want to well, make sure it's probably going to print on our printer really well. Okay, let's make a simple box. Okay, so let's go to the top here. And I'll hit orthogonal view because <laughs> I like to do that so it lines up better. So That's I can a see funny it. word. Orthogonal. Orthogonal. Okay, so we'll make this 70 millimeters by 70, and that gives you about a 3-inch box. So uh, twenty-five. there's 25 millimeters and an inch, so it's about 3 inches. I and learned then, that in school today. Okay. And then we'll go to the bottom here, and we'll see. Let's make it make it 30 millimeters tall, or about, yeah, let's go 30. I don't know. It's your box. It's my box. We'll go 25. So that'll be our box. Now what we want to do is we need to cut cut a box out of it. So the nice thing we can do is we can take this shape, do Control C, Control V. We have a duplicate, but we want to shrink it because we're going to use this shape to cut a box out of the other box. So we'll click on here and we'll say, okay, how thick should our walls be? There should be at least two millimeters, and so we have two walls on each side. So two times two is four, mm -hmm. right? I know that. 
So 70 minus 4 is? 70 minus 4 is 86. We can uh, <laughs> minus 4. 66. 66. So we'll do 66. And you can hit the tab button to go between these numbers. I never knew that. And hit sec You didn't know the tab? No. Oh, that's kind of nice. Well, no, you didn't no. teach me that. Or I didn't teach you either. No. Okay. So now this box, let's change the color on it so we can see. We'll make it... Uh, for Pink. Pink. Well, it's going to disappear in a second. Just so we can see. So now I can take this and I could center it on here. And the fact is you get it close, you can hit the arrow keys. And we can make sure it's centered. Like that. But now, since we want to cut it out, I need to raise it up a little bit. Yeah. So I can come down here, and this little uh, black arrow, I can pull it up. So you can see over here, there's that one number, and now two. So we want we want the bottom to be two millimeters thick, too. Okay. And then I can leave it like this, or I can actually shrink this down so it matches. And then if we click this, and I still have, I'm still selected the pink box, rather than make it a solid, we can make it a hole. You ready? Mm-hmm. So now it's a hole. And then I want to show you oh, one of my you tricks. What's your trick? Oh. My trick is you can get all of this here, mm -hmm. and then you can make them together. Yep, group it. So there's the group button up there, yeah. And now you can see it better too, right? Yeah. And so those of them been combined. We can ungroup them if we want. We want, we want it to be like this. So we got that box. And box. so life is good. We want a lid <laughs> for life it. Life is good. We want a lid for it, and it's going to be pretty similar, so I can just do Control c Control v and do that. But now the lid needs to be bigger, otherwise it's not going to fit on, right? Yeah, otherwise you can't close it. And so we know that that one is 70, and it's got those plus 2, plus 2, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to make this at least plus 4, so 70 plus 4 is? 70 plus 4. Four is seventy-four. That's easy. Yeah, easy. If but if they, we remember we made those boxes where it's really exact. If it's really exact, what's going to happen? It's not going to fit on. It's got no wiggle room. It has to, it'll just it won't fix. It'll have no wiggle room. So we need to get a little just bit like of wiggle my box room. That I made. So we'll add two millimeters. So that is a good one. So seventy plus four plus six is seventy plus four plus six. That is eighty. Not quite. Oh, 70 plus 4. 70 plus 4 is 74. Plus 2. Did I tell you wrong? Sorry. You 70. said 70 so you plus got it wrong. 6. You were right. 70 plus 4 plus 2. I said, I didn't say what I was thinking. Oh. 70 plus 4 plus 2. 77. No. 76. 76. <laughs> so we'll type in 76 that. here. Hit the tab button. Just like the other one. Type 76. And now, hopefully, that will fit. When we print that, that'll just fit over there. Oh, it will always fit because it's big. I can see right now. Now, the nice thing is, if it doesn't fit, if it's if it's, you can just print the top. Yeah. Well, if it's yeah, exactly. We did that one time. We made it. Uh, if you make it too big, you can even come back and resize it and print it again, right? Yeah, we did that on one of Corbin's. Now we're gonna leave it like we're gonna leave the top like that on the bottom, so it's easier to print, right? Mm -hmm. We could flip it upside down. We tried that once. It didn't work it so It didn't well. work that well. Because it can bridge, but it didn't work quite so pretty. So no. leave on the bottom is better. Now. That was again on my brothers. Yep. Now if we print this out, like it as is, we've got that two millimeters <laughs> on the bottom. So they'll, it'll cover almost all of it. If that's what we want, that's fine. But in our case, we'll make this smaller, right? So we'll go down to. It's fun making it smaller. How about we go down to. Maybe 15. Yeah, 15. 15? 15. 15 looks good. So we'll go down a little bit. So if, if you can print that out, if you don't like it that much, you can redesign it, right? Yeah, you can just go back on and delete it and then redesign it. Okay, so there are our basic boxes. Yeah, and well, then we're going to make them fancy. Then we're going to make them fancy. So what fancy things should we put in here? Hmm, let's see I here. think we should put some words in one of them. Yeah, let's put cool. the words on the lid. So. On the lid. On the inside of the lid. Yes, so on the inside. I'll let you do this. Oh, so there's text. Okay, so text. you drag text over. Make it a bit smaller so it can fit in there, duh. <laughs> yeah. And what do you want it to say, Dad? Uh, what can we have it say? What we could say, you want to say happy or something silly? Unicorn, since you're a unicorn girl now. Yes. What about unicorn? 
Let's make it a different color first. No, oh, that's a good idea so you can see it that easier. That is a great idea. Not okay. that it's going to print that color, but it's far easier to see. Right? It is. Yeah. Okay. You. Hmm. Can I spell unicorn? It's hard. U N I. And then corn. Okay. Okay, let's make and then you can smaller. choose different fonts. They have a couple of different fonts in there, I think. I know. I'm just going to make this smaller so it can fit. Mm, I gotcha. Oh. That's okay. Let's move. I know. Uh, let's just make this to... Oh, well, now you can't... No, not I yet. I think you missed it. So sometimes, depending on where it is, let's see, can we still select that? Ah, yeah. there we go. Okay. So we want to change... Font. I guess we have a couple of choices. We got three choices. That stands... Sans mono. You guys only have a couple of choices. Surf. I like surf. It's not that different, surf. but I like it. Okay. And it looks like mm -hmm. we can bevel it or change the height. So let's see. Let's go over here and go down the front view so we can see how. Ooh, that's pretty tall. That so is we can click on the front and we can adjust. Oh, there you go. You can do it right there, too. I didn't realize that. Oh, cool. There we go. So, oh, we could do two things. So this one, mm -hmm. let's make it a little bit taller. Tiny bit, Ooh, a little too tall. I think you, maybe you can use the arrow key. Can you use the arrow key. Oh, that's good. That's okay, good. so now what that's going to do is when it prints out, it'll print out this word on above, which is kind of cool, right? Mm -hmm. So now maybe we should do something where we can actually print a word and take away space. Should we do that on the other one? Sure. Or we could do it on that one. We could put another word above unicorn. Sure. Okay. So what other words should we put on there? How so we can, about? Hmm. Well, we got to drag uh, drag the text over there. So put. Oh, that's. No, a new one. A new, a new text. text. New text. Let's make it a different color. Yeah, easy yeah. to see. Okay, so unicorn what? Unicorns are cool. Are cool. Oh, Oops. I think we make another text. We deleted that one. We deleted it. I think you have to write up there. Yeah, up there where it says text. Text. There you go, right there. Unicorns are cool. Nice. Okay, so then... We can move this. Yeah, we can move that. Want to move that up a little bit? Yeah. And then... And then make this smaller. Yeah, it needs to be a little smaller to fit in there. Mm -hmm. uh, grab that little guy. And move it. Oh, it's still a little big. Still a little big. It's good to make them too small instead of too big. Unicorns are cool. Okay. Well, that's a good spot. That's and we gotta we gotta make spot. it tall, right? Mm, let's go well, to we can go this. to the. Well, that's okay as it is, right? We just need to move it up a little bit. So let's go to the front. Front. Yeah. See, up oh, right there Oops. it says front. Oops. Okay. So now let's zoom in a little bit. Here, I'll let you. Zoom here, I'll show you the, the trick here. So we have to click on that little black guy there, right? Yeah. And so that lets us bring it off the plate. Because if we made this a hole, mm -hmm. and it's going down two millimeters, it would cut mm -hmm. all the way to the bottom. Yeah. So now we're going to raise it up one millimeter, and so it should cut halfway in. Cool. Okay. So let's cut that. So let's go right here. And so let's change that. We can, we don't, it doesn't matter how tall it is, because we're going to make it a hole, right? So now it's actually cutting in there, right? And Just a bit. Let's make this all together. Yep, we selected that one too. Let's Whoops. zoom out. We can hit the uh, top. Nope, I've got oh, it. Oh, that'll got it? Oh, you got, you got it? Oh. I've got it, Dad. Got it. Okay. Well, look at that. And so it's cutting that cool in just a little bit. Our cool. Nice. We oh, can make that? it a different color. Yellow. Okay, let's go to an angle. Did it do it right? Uh, angle? Yeah, I'll go to an angle. I want to see if it... Yeah, it looks it like it. it, right? It did it. It did it right? Okay. Okay, anything? What else should we add? We should add, like, you added ice cream or something. First, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. Okay. <laughs> so what more should we add? Hmm, I saw this scribble. It's new, but I don't really want to use it because I'm trying to do an old... We could add a star. Or we could add weird shapes. You, would, you found the weird shapes, didn't you? Like the... Yeah, the characters. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Let's make pennies. You gotta be a little careful with these because they might not print out. But your ice cream printed out really My well. My ice cream printed out amazing. 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 No, not that. Not that. Not that. So. I, so I have been thinking of this for a while now. Oh, so what have you been thinking? I have been thinking of a cool guy with shades uh, mm-hmm. who has an ice cream. Okay. <coughs> we'll try to make a cool guy with shades with ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna turn it around, don't I? Yeah. But it's not that hard. Wrong angle. Oh, what do you click on? You click right there. Right. And then click on that side. I click on it, so it'll get you around. There you go. And then click on the right, and then you can I click on right, and then you can rotate it again. Right. Okay. I clicked on the right. There you go. So then you can turn it. Yeah, like that should print okay once it has a base. Top. Okay, so drag him over here. That might print okay. Yeah, my other hand printed also. Oh, it did? Okay. Yeah, you didn't notice the hand that was holding the ice cream. I forgot. I remember the ice cream. You remember the ice cream because it's awesome. It was pretty awesome. Lots of and lots of clicking. Lots of clicking. So he's holding ice cream. Holding some ice cream. Mm. And then we need some shades up here. Up in here. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that'll probably print. Yep. Whoops. Whoops. It's going all over the place. Okay. Then we could delete this. Well, I think if it's below that line, it might cut it off. We'll see. Yeah. If not, we'll have to make a, a way to cut it. It can't even do that, Dad. Oh, yeah, it can't. Ooh, that might turn out pretty cool. So let me... Let's look at the top. Let's see how it looks. That looks awesome. Okay, let's go back to basic shapes. Okay. Um, so what do you need? What mouth? I'll give him a rounded roof mouth. I need a nose. Oh, well, that would probably work. Yeah, I used it on the last one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Cool. And it was calcium. Mm. Little nose. nose. Okay. And then he will have a, a tube mouth. Tube mouth. Okay. It's a bit too big. That works. Oh, that kind of works. Move this up a bit. Stop. Yeah, zoom in. Zoom a little bit. That'll probably help. Cool. And let's make this all... Well, wait, before you do that, let me go do a little bit of adjustments, okay? Okay. You can make... do whatever you want. I want to make sure... Oh, cool. Let me... Let me ungroup that. Oh. What did you do? Hmm? Oh, I did something weird. Let me undo what I just did. Oh, there we go. Undo. Undo. It's nice there's an undo and redo button up there, right? Yes, it is very nice. I've had to redo and undo 15,000 things. I'm that gullible. There we go. So let me, I'm going to go adjust these guys and make sure that they look like they would print. So, probably need to lower this one down a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Because it's going to have to rest against the bed. Yeah, we'll but then it's showing his thumb, bro. 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 Uh, uh <laughs> Bro. And we'll have that one kind of embedded a little bit. He's got a really tall nose, doesn't he? But yes. it's lower than the box. That's okay. It should work. I want him to have a You want a long nose? nose. Yeah. Right. It won't touch the unicorn because it's down. So. so let me see. I think that'll work. And if it doesn't, we can always rejigger it. another one. Okay, so right like that? A bit down, down more. Down more? 
Or F minor. F minor. Okay, I'll let you adjust it. Like that. Okay, so now group, you gotta to select all of them. Select all of them. That's and then that's group them. There we go. Oh, cool. Oh, oh. Come on, give me a good look here. Let me hit the home button. There we go, home button. And then hit that one. Oh, I can adjust a little bit on that. All right. I hope this works. I hope so too. We'll print them all as one thing. It'll all be one color because mm -hmm. we don't have a fancy multicolor. We which, don't. But We're trying to get one. Someday. Well, not uh, someday. We're uh, trying to someday. Well, we'll keep it simple for now, right? Yeah. But okay, so now we'll click, I'll let you do it. So here, hit, hit the export button. I love this part. And. SPL. Well, no, wait, remember, wait or no. Hit the export. In this case, we we need everything. So select everything in the design. And hit STL. Well, it depends on what we want to do. Sometimes you have a box and a lid. You might want to do them different, right? Yeah. But that's okay. We'll leave them all. Just oh, you know what? All. We didn't give this. We didn't name it. Oh, let's name what it. should we name it? Kindles. We you should name it. name it. Yeah, name it. Kindles. Una unicorn box. Why does the dictionary think my name is not in the dictionary? Tumblr? You can say add to dictionary. Add to dictionary. Okay, now hit enter and it should here, hit the enter button. There we go. Now, hey, before we do it, what color are we gonna print these? Hmm, let's print it pink. Okay, so let's change the color to pink. Right. And we'll change it to pink. So that's kind of what it'll look like. I mean, we Ish. could do multicolored, but we'll have to stop it like every second. Oh, so. yeah, we're not going to do multicolored yeah, for this one. Okay, so now let's hit export. And we'll do everything. everything. We'll just do everything as an like STL. STL. And so now it'll actually name it Kendall's Unicorn Box, Kendall's which is Unicorn kind of fun. Box. STL. And so now, let me go open up. This guy, and we will take Kendall's unicorn box and drop it in. And oh, look, it raised it up. So it didn't subtract it, did I? No. Okay, maybe we should go subtract it. But uh, we could have added another shape under there and subtracted it, mm -hmm. which is probably a good idea if you want to share the STL file. But if you don't, another thing you can do is we can actually just probably delete it. Uh, no, we can change the position. So we can, maybe, uh, we can have to do, there's a button here. Oh, place on bed, off. And then I can move it down, move move it down. It. down to zero. So that should be fine. Yeah. Um, but if you were going to, ooh, no, <laughs> a little too low, huh? There's a little problem there, Dad. Two, there we go. Oh, but look, that's raised off, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. And so is that. Oh, let me go down one. There we go. That's oh, better. All right. So, we will... It's gray now. I don't want it to be gray. Oh, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. It's out of printable area. Oh, it doesn't like it. No, it doesn't like that. Okay, I guess we have to fix it. Let's go fix that. Let's go fix it. We have to go fix it. Oh, we have to do this over again. Okay, so again. I'll come in here. I need a subtraction thing, so I'll just make a box. Just make a box. Make a box. And then subtract. And I will make it ginormous. Oh. One ginormous box. Ginormous box. Make it big. Ginormous box. And we will grab that black arrow and pull it down to where it's zero, right? And then make this bigger, right? And then let's check make it. Make it a hole. Let's check it first. See if it's correct. And then we'll select both of those and then group them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's check it and see if it worked. Oh, I think it worked. Do you see it go away? Yeah. I think we're good. I think we are great. Okay, let's export this again. Export STL Everything. all again because... Okay, let's see. There's like four Kendall's oh. Unicorn STLs. Okay, oh, look, there we go. 
There we go. That's better. That's better. Okay, so we'll say, we'll make it optimal, because we have some details in there, right? Yes. Standard info. Place on the bed. Brim, no. Doesn't need a brim. Does not need a brim. And we'll generate. Sometimes other things need a brim, but this one doesn't. No. Nope. Yeah, we're trying to keep it simple. It's a square. And then we can check it. Let's see what it'll do. So go box. Oh, and there's your heart cool. Huh? And there's your unicorn. Unicorns. So are cool. Um, That's what that should work. And then there is your. Oh my other uh, stuff. Looks like your ice cream's a little too low. Uh, oh, just my, let it no, be. Just see it. Let it be. Yeah, I think that ice cream's not going to work. You see, right when it hits the bed, here's the first layer, and then doesn't doesn't have the unit. You got to lower it a little bit. I'm gonna lower it a little bit. Okay. And then can Otherwise we we'll have ice cream can there. we add a unicorns? Unicorns. So it's not unicorn. Are cool. Uh, sure. <laughs> so you have to ungroup this, and then ungroup that one. Oh. We can finally get a hold of the ice cream. We pull it up. And we have to pull it up. Oh. Pull it down a little bit. Pull it down. Oh. Okay. Pull it down too. And then up top. We'll make unicorns. Yeah. Okay, now we'll try to add this all together again and group them all this time. Group. I think that looks good. And what's it thinking? I think it's thinking I like cheese. Yep. And we'll make it pink. Okay. Let's so fix now, the unicorns. We'll have to ungroup it. All right. Yes. Hit top and select your unicorn. So unicorns. Is a unicorn. I guess unicorn are cool is not a proper way to say it. No. Unicorns. There we go. Okay. So now boom, group those together. Okay. And then let's call, color it all pink so we can see it. It might turn out. Maybe. Okay. We have a bit neon or pink. Uh, so let's export okay. this one. Maybe the third <sighs> maybe the third time's a charm. No, this is like the fifth time. Fifth time. Uh, See one, two, three, four, five. Fifth time. Okay. Let's see. <sighs> oh, we only did the one. <laughs> okay, next it will be the sixth time. Oh, we'll get it. <laughs> okay, export this time everything. There we go. <sighs> On my own, I only need to do like the first time. And you nail it the first time? Well, I normally don't put sunglasses on it. Oh, that's the complicated part? Yeah, but it looks cool. It looks cool. It looks great. Okay, now let's see if we can generate this. <laughs> Finally. I think it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be I awesome. think it's gonna be great. Okay, let's see if our even though our ice the cream. thumb is coming through the ice cream, well, I don't care. Oh, it is, isn't it? I don't care. That's okay. Well, that's okay. Oh, look, the ice cream's there. Why? Please just leave it. You don't want to fix it again with a thumb coming through the ice cream. Fine, you can fix it. <laughs> we need to. We can lower that hand. We should move that hand, shouldn't we? I oh, guess. that looks bad. His poor. Maybe it's a new kind of ice cream cone. Maybe, or maybe it's melting into his fingers. Ooh. Hey, ice creams melt. They do melt. Maybe he didn't eat it in so time. Let's see if we can. Maybe that's why he has shades on. How about that? Do I look like he's holding it now? Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's why he has shades on. Maybe it's really hot today. It's really hot and it's melting his hand. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. You don't know? Only he knows. Somebody tries. Okay, now... Okay, now this will be our seventh time, I think. Which is fine. I know, but that's a lot of times. Okay, let's drop this one in. So, let's see, four. There we go. I don't think... That, that looks much better. Okay, thank goodness you did both of them. I'm like, I don't think you did both of them. Mm. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, we're doing good. And we have Arcool. We have unicorns. And then look, ice cream and a hand that doesn't look weird. Yes. 
And we'll see how it all prints. We'll see how the shirts look. The shirts I, think it'll print, I think it'll print really good. Yeah, and he has a gigantic nose. Okay, so we'll save the G code. And we'll call it... Okay. Let's put it in my box. In the box. In your box? Yeah. Kendall's unicorn box. Okay, well, I'll put it there in a minute. But I'll put it in the desktop for now. Okay. So we'll just save that. And then we'll go print it. Okay? Can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so it's all printed out now. And so with all my prints, I want to go over the numbers. So the numbers for this, this actually took 5 hours and 12 minutes to print. It took 4.4 .4 cents worth of electricity. And it also took, uh, it, was, it weighs 0 0.046 kilograms. And based on $20 per kilogram for a roll, that comes out to 92 cents. So altogether, this print costs 96 cents to print out. How exciting. That's not very exciting. That's not exciting? No. Well, it's nice for people to know, though, don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah. What if it cost $100 to print out? Do you that... think they'd be very excited? No. What if it cost 10 bucks to print out? That'd be a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's only like a buck. And $100 is a lot, too. Yeah. So do you want to show the results? Just show it up to the camera. The camera. <laughs> There we go. So it printed out. And look at that. You can see that the unicorns are cool showed up. And you can see this is actually coming out. And the unicorns are cool, are cool is going in. And the little face showed up with his ice, see, cream, cone. His ice cream cone and his glasses and his nose that <laughs> sticks way up. The glasses are actually 3D, which is cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. So hey, that all worked. I didn't think the hand would work out too and well. And it actually closes. Okay, we did a good, <laughs> our, our little, we could probably even go a little bit thinner if we wanted to, but it's better to play the same yeah, side the first time. It's better to make it bigger than smaller. Bigger than smaller. Yeah. So, what do you think of your unicorn box it's that you made? It's cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I printed it pink. You're glad you printed it pink. Because then it wouldn't be a unicorn box. Well, if we had a multicolored printer, we could print in multi-rainbow colors. That, that would be unicorn, right? Yeah. But we don't. But we don't yet. Maybe someday. Maybe. But it's still fun just being one color, right? Yeah. <laughs> now you sound disappointed. But it's okay. I am disappointed. I want multicolored. Oh. But that's a lot of money. Well, it's not too much money. But right now, uh, we're focusing on just doing one color to keep things simple. Uh, once we... Very plain. Well, simple and plain. Once you do multicolored... Yeah, there's again, like one color and it's plain. And it's on a plane. And it's on a plane, yeah. You're mathematically hilarious. <laughs> okay. And I, well... Uh, I think that's enough for this video. We just wanted to show and show you how easy it is to use Tinkercad. And it's kind of nice to mo make a more advanced box. And so that's our more advanced box. I hope someone out there I found I love boxes. Love boxes. There are so many boxes you can make with Tinkercad. There's so many different boxes. You can even make like a weird shaped box like a sphere. A sphere box or i don't know a roof a roof box i don't know oh well, we made a heart box once yeah that, that was nice. pretty cool okay anyway we'll wrap it up officially now so there you go box done unicorns are cool unicorns are awesome done deal hey if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't hey give it a thumbs down also if you like what we were doing here subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.